Hi, we're the Larry Kill Experience from the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, and here's a song called Long Way Round. This morning and I took the long way around But not too much upon my mind trying to slow it down Not much in a hurry, no particular place to be Listening for all the things I hear and looking for what I see Let me be. My father played music uh, with the local musicians in the area and uh, like every Saturday night they'd get together and have like a potluck or whatnot and everybody would bring a dish and there's always 10 or 12 musicians out there and playing music and I, I remember being a little kid playing spoons and uh, just banging on spoons like crazy and I guess that annoyed them long enough till they bought me a guitar and then I started doing that you know Six. yeah my brother played too he, he, he and my father they they play local things like uh, the, the fire halls and benefits and things like that 
my father would sing like a lot of old country ballads too, like Lefty Frizzell and Webb Pierce and uh, so so much good stuff, Eddie Arnold, all that sort of thing too. But yeah, and, and the back when country was country and western, you know, the Sons of the Pioneers and all that sort of thing, you know. We've been playing a lot of outdoor festivals and outdoor events and such, and that's been good. You know, it's been really fun to get back at it. It's You'd like to say to get back to the same old thing, but it's, it's not really the same, you know, it's different, but people are really hungry for it and we're hungry to play and uh, we just try to do it as safe as we can and uh, just adhere to protocols and whatnot, you know. Certain songs will come to me as far as, as words go, you know, if I'm feeling some strong about something, it'll come to me that way. Sometimes a melody will come to me as far as just hearing it in my head and I'll sit and pick with it for however long it takes to put it all together, you know, and uh, yeah, it's just, you know, inspired by all the things that goes on around me and places I've been, people I meet and everything, you know. Uh, I'm obviously sort of the march to the beat of your own drum type guy, it's like, Try, try to find your own voice and things, and uh, as uh, a lot of the fellows that have gone on before that I, that taught me a lot, where they would always say, write about what you know, you know, and, and what you're really feeling, and uh, do that sort of thing. But as far as if, if it's what you want to do, I guess uh, go at it as full steam as you can, and hopefully you have a good support staff, family or whatnot behind you. Know a good mechanic that can fix your your yeah. van so and you can get up the radio. Shop that'll a good a good luthier to fix your instruments. <laughs> Those uh, are three. Family, mechanic and, and uh yeah instrument. just yeah, enjoy. maybe a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, and uh yeah, just hit it as hard as you can and uh just send that love out to everybody and create the magic, you know. Here's another tune that Jared Poole over here from Richmond, Virginia wrote on his mandolin. And uh, it's a tricky little tune. I like it a whole bunch. Talks about the power of the pen. Thank you. 
<laughs> I just released the CD during the pandemic that uh, it, it was strange when it all began because no one really wanted to get together even though we play, play together and everything. It's just uncertainty at that point. So To go into a studio yeah, and so close up. My, close. One, my one road manager, he, he came down because we had been hanging. He was part of our tight circle. And, uh, brought a mobile bought recording. a mobile recording rig and I played all the instruments on it and wrote all the music and uh, produced that during the pandemic to have something to do basically because the, they flipped the switch and we didn't have anything else for a while you know so I, uh, I did that and it's been out uh, since the fall the fall so it's called yeah. American Dream and I toot his horn because I want to emphasize he really did write all the songs 10 songs and played all the instruments banjo mandolin guitar electric guitar upright bass all the singing and uh, he did the mixing and everything on it so uh, it's completely a, a true solo album and, and a great use of all that time off yeah. in lockdown <laughs> very creative very productive I'm sure there'll be some more new music coming up soon too. Winter's coming on, that's when I usually write a lot. So.